Let me tell you about uh, Desktop Metal. This is a company that I started uh, around 2015 after several years of thinking about uh, the process of how you would make metal more accessible. Uh, I had the pleasure of being an early investor in a company called Protolabs. And anybody here uh, has used Protolabs? Any show of hands? Okay, great. So about we used to own about a third of Protolabs in my last gig and uh, after doing the Series A for that company. And uh, around 2012, uh, we tried to acquire a company called Morris up in, in Canada, and then we ended up instead uh, buying Fine Line, which was uh, one of the major service bureaus uh, in the MLS. They had uh, something like 14 concept laser machines, and I, for the first time I saw what uh, laser powder bed fusion was like, which is a, a pretty, um, pretty uh, you know, constraining process. Machines are a million bucks. They're, uh, difficult to use, you need a special facility for them, all that stuff. So when you see this picture, what you see in common, this is what computers look like 20 years after they were invented on the left. On the right, you see an EOS 290. Actually, that's a 270. Um, it hasn't really changed that much in 20 years. And this is what metal printers look like today. They're slow and very expensive, million dollar machines. We started our company to change that. We have raised uh, about $212 million to do this. We have a team of about 180 engineers in Burlington, so a pretty, pretty well-resourced team. Uh, and then uh, have backing from folks like General Electric, Google, Kleiner Perkins, BMW, uh, and, and uh, NEA. We have two products. Uh, the product on the left is our studio system. You see it. He, you see our printer here in, uh, on stage. This is the first office-friendly metal printer in the market. The full end-to-end -end system is office-friendly. There's no venting required. All the products fit through a door. All you need is power, and you're making metal parts. Literally, it sits next to your plastic printer that you would that you would use to make uh, FDM parts. There's no need for powder handling and none of that uh, crazy stuff. On the right, we have a product uh, called our production system. Uh, that's going to ship next year in September, and that product will be shown for the first time at Form Next uh, running. And that machine is a hundred times faster, a hundred times faster than a DMLS system. It can make parts at one twentieth the cost, so roughly eight to twenty cents per cubic centimeter. Very, very cost-effective process for for mass production of uh, of metal parts, and it does so with resolution. Uh, that's superior to uh, other metal printing systems. So let me tell you a little bit more about our studio system. I'm going to do a quick deep dive on, on this product and what makes it unique. Uh, it's a system. It comes with a printer and a furnace and a debinding system. So everything you need to make metal parts in an office. You have no powders, no respirators. You don't need 40 volt three phase. It only uses 30 amps of power. Uh, it's, it's basically uh, a safe system for an office environment. And it's also cost effective. So if you look at a powder bed fusion system like an SLM 280 or an EOS 290 or a Concept Laser M2, which has similar cavity volume as our machine, those systems are roughly half a million dollars per, per printer. And then on top of that, you need wire EDM. You need a bunch of machining equipment to make successful parts. And then you're going to have to hire a dedicated operator and design your facility around that machine. In contrast, our printer is $50,000 for the printer. And then the sintering system, which is for the full cavity size of your machine, plus the debinding system, all in, you're at around $120,000, which is a, a turnkey system price. You have a few features that are unique to our process that, that, that are new to the metal printing space. One of them is, would sound trivial to somebody in plastics, but in metal, usually it takes quite a bit of time to change materials. Our process enables you to change materials in less than 60 seconds. So you go from printing titanium to aluminum to stainless steel to copper to tooling steels, and between every print, it takes you less than a minute to change materials. That's actually a pretty cool feature. And then we have built-in expert metallurgy uh, in the sintering process. And I'll talk more about how our sintering system is smart and uh, is able to, to let you customize your, your properties. 
we have an end-to-end -end process. You set up your parts, you print them, you debind and center them, you finish them. Uh, one of the things that's unique about our process is our separable supports technology. You see it here in this green part where you see the, a wide interface layer between the supports and the part. And that allows you to easily post-process the part after it's centered. And you see this now on this page on the right. You see our process where it's very easy to separate the supports. On the left, you have a part that's fully welded to, to the build plate. And that's what you get today with DMLS or with some of our competitors. You have a significant amount of post-processing, whereas we can literally remove the parts by hand from the supports. And that's a, a, a big, big benefit for folks who are just trying to, like, like John said in the earlier talk, print something in the office and take advantage of the benefits of 3D printing, which is get apart fast. We had very good tolerances thanks to our uh, advanced support technology, roughly two to three thousandths of an inch for every inch. And let me show you a quick video now that uh, will give you an overview of the full end-to-end -end process, including our, our cloud-based uh, software system. Can I have audio? Can I have the audio, please? That's our process uh, for our studio system. It is a wide number of materials compatible with it. We're launching with seven alloys plus another 30 alloys under development. When you look at, at printing, um, one of the core competencies in our, in our specific company is material science. About a third of our folks are, are metallurgists or material scientists, and that's how we're able to qualify a large number of materials quickly, which is what, what our customers want. Uh, our process is based on a chemistry that's pretty mature. It's called metal injection molding. It's been around now for uh, roughly 40 years, uh, developed by Randall German and, and uh, Annie Meshbose initially. They were sort of the guys that took it from a dark art into, into a science. Annie Mesh works in our company. He's one of our VPs, a very well-known guy. Um, one of the benefits is that you, you're able to use metals that have high, they're already passive and have high oxygen content, unlike powder bed fusion, where the metal doesn't have uh, any oxygen, or you, you will, will not be able to get the, the material properties that you want. And then we don't need a monodispersion. As a result, our raw material costs are roughly 80% cheaper uh, for, the, for the actual uh, powder than powder bed fusion. And that's a major benefit to, to this process. Um, we have a number of, of uh, features that we're introducing. This is a new option that we're going to uh, offer to uh, all of our customers, it ships standard with our machines uh, uh, for folks that order them this year, and then there's a, a premium uh, upgrade for next year. It's uh, uh, technology to allow you to control your microstructure. So you're able to control uh, the, the material properties. Uh, you will notice that most of our products, uh, well, all of our metal products meet MPIF 35 standards. So in terms of elongation and all the other uh, properties. And, and that's actually pretty cool. You're able to take material and select in software if you want it to be perlite ferrite or ferrite or bainite or other properties. That's, that's something that uh, doesn't exist in the market. So this is the first system that allows you to tailor the microstructure of the metal directly in software before uh, before you make your part. Uh, 
so, which is actually a, a, a very interesting innovation. We have a wide variety of materials, like I mentioned earlier. Toolsteel, for example, is uh, one of the very nice applications, one of the killer apps for this type of product. We're able to print inserts and other things. A lot of the parts in this machine are printed, are injection molded with inserts that were printed using our, our machines. You're able to print copper with very high conductivity, so we have excellent, excellent sintering capability in our machine. And um, you know, this is a great application for folks that work in power electronics, bus bars, they need heat sinks, any type of thermal management. Um, here's uh, some pictures of this uh, tool and die inserts that are printed in our machine. And you see the, the different components. Here's the insert, uh, that specific insert. Here's another one that's also printed uh, with our process. This is at a local uh, company that makes, makes our parts. We have a uh, nice uh, set of customers. Uh, we have some parts that I can show you afterwards if you want. We have our partner Trimec here, uh, and, and they have parts on display. One of them is from Caterpillar, from this specific machine, a brake assembly uh, component that's printed on this. This part's uh, uh, a little over a kilogram in, in weight, so it's a pretty beefy uh, 4140 part. Uh, we have a, a water wheel from this uh, DTM vehicle from uh, BMW that will actually be part of a case study later in this presentation that's uh, also worth, worth looking at. And uh, our partners, BMW, are, are uh, uh, using that as a, as a, part, a showcase part of, of the work that we're doing together. So let me tell you now about our production system. This is a new machine that will ship uh, in, the, in the fourth quarter of next year. Uh, we're going to have them available in the spring for partners to use them at our facility. And this is a, a technology also using metal injection molding uh, chemistry, but it allows you to uh, essentially produce parts at an incredible throughput. One of these machines is the equivalent of 100 EOS systems, so 500 cubic inches per hour, 500 cubic inches per hour, or 8 liters per hour worth of parts which is a, an, amazing, an amazing feat. So this machine produces parts at 50 micron accuracy, XY uh, spot size of 10 to 20 microns, depending on the settings, and, and Z height of 50 microns. Uh, it's extremely fast, and it uses a raw material that is much lower cost than the raw materials used in powder bit fusion. As a result, you get parts that are 120 at the cost, so much lower cost parts. So as you can see, comparison between powder bed fusion steel versus metal injection molding media. I have a little video here. I need the audio, please, at full, that describes how this process works. If you can put it a little louder, please. Thanks. Metal 3D printing could change much of the world around us if it was fast enough and cheap enough for mass production. Introducing the production system, powered by single-pass jetting. At up to 100 times faster than laser-based systems, it's the first metal 3D printing solution for mass production. It works by combining two powder spreaders and one print unit into a single pass system to both spread metal powder and print. Unlike existing metal 3D printing, there is no wasted motion with single pass jetting. A single pass starts in the powder spreader where a metering system deposits metal powder and a compacting system forms a layer as thin as a human hair. The print bar follows, jetting droplets of a binding agent. Millions are jetted per second, binding metal powder to form high-resolution layers. Anti-sintering agents are then deposited, making it possible for supports to fall off after sintering, saving hours of post-processing. Once the layer is dried, the process repeats itself. Single-pass jetting is bi-directional. We combined all the necessary steps for printing into a single pass, so that whenever there is movement, there is printing. This makes it possible to print parts in minutes instead of hours. Once printed, the brown parts are densified in a microwave-enhanced furnace. It combines conventional heating with microwaves to speed up sintering. A closed-loop thermal control system regulates temperatures in real time 
as parts are heated to just below their melting point. Binder is removed and metal particles are fused to form a dense solid. The production system is cloud connected. Sophisticated software manages the entire workflow with profiles that are tuned to every build and material from the printer to the furnace, delivering dense metal parts. The result is sheer throughput. In the time it takes laser-based processes to produce just 12 impellers, desktop metal single-pass jetting technology would have produced over 500. To date, metal 3D printing has been too expensive and too slow to change the world around us. At up to 100 times faster than existing technologies, the production system unlocks the cost per part needed for mass production. For the first time, it's possible to go to market with metal 3D printing. Awesome. So that system, uh, for the first time, allows you to make parts not just cheaper than machining, but also cheaper than casting. So our break-even point with casting is roughly 100,000 units, which is actually an amazing, an amazing feat. Uh, it's less expensive than press and center. It's less expensive than, than uh, casting. And uh, you're able to do all the powder, advanced powder metallurgy things like center pinning and case hardening and all those type of uh, specialty techniques that uh, allow uh, you know, better, better material properties out of a powder metallurgy part. So uh, we're, we're excited about this product. Um, in summary here, our uh, prototyping system, an in, in office-friendly system from uh, called our studio uh, platform is, is launching uh, as we speak. Uh, we're uh, just starting our production line and uh, you'll be able to get systems from our, from our value-added resellers uh, before the end of the year. And then uh, on the mass production side, if you're interested in, in high-resolution, high-volume parts, uh, that system is going to ship uh, in the uh, third, fourth quarter of, of next year. We have a, a channel that uh, is quite strong. I apologize if I'm missing some of our partners here on this page. We have roughly 100 sales partners globally, uh, both in the US, Europe, and in Asia. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs>